Well, we have been talking about the solar eclipse for weeks, and here to answer all of our questions, we have Sarah and Hannah from the Science Museum of Western Virginia. Thank you both for coming on today. Thank you for having us. We've been looking forward to having you. So let's talk a little bit about this solar eclipse. Why is it such a big deal? What makes this one different? Uh, so the really cool thing about this solar eclipse is that it's actually crossing coast to coast. And the last time that happened was in 1918, about 99 years ago. Really? <laughs> okay, so other ones that happen, because they do happen, right? Mm -hmm. But they're, you know, somewhere where we can't really see them or like the whole country doesn't really have the opportunity. Yeah, it's about every 18-ish 18 18 months or so you oh. get um, at least a partial eclipse. Okay. And then, you know, a lot of times they're over the ocean, is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously we've been talking about the eclipse and really the talk of the town is the glasses. Mm -hmm. So tell us, why is it so important to use them and, and tell us a little bit about them. Uh, so anytime you're looking directly at the sun, which is not something you should ever actually do, <laughs> okay. um, you run the risk of burning uh, basically your retinas. You don't have pain receptors back there, so you won't know if it's starting to burn. So there are a lot of... Really? Okay. Like a damage. Yeah. And then let's talk a little bit about the certification and what they do. Like, what's the difference between, I mean, because there's real ones and then there's not real ones. So any real one that you get should be printed with the safety standard ISO 12312-2. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of the counterfeit ones have begun printing those. So I know that a number of the ones that you're able to find now uh, do come with certification. Yeah. Right. So the, the really the only way to know is if they have that certification. Is that right? Are there any other tests we can do? Um, well, <coughs> one thing, if, if you've got one that's got the number on it, but you're not super sure, if you look through them, so like I have a pair right here, of course right. I have one that I can't use because the leg broke off, yeah. but if you look through them and look up at the light, you shouldn't be able to see anything. Nothing. Except for a potentially a really, really bright light, like an LED light or the sun, and even that okay. only very dimly. Okay. Interesting. So that's kind of a test that, that you can do. And then um, let's talk, there are other ways that we can check out the solar eclipse if we don't get a pair of glasses, because they are getting sold out. So can you tell yes. us a little bit about these? Um, so one of the best ways to kind of view the eclipse is to make a pinhole viewer. Okay. Um, and those are pretty simple. I have one right here, actually, and it's just made out of a piece of cardstock. I used green because it's what I happen to have. Right. Um, and a piece of tin foil that I've taped on, and I poked a very, very, very tidy hole in it. What did you really poke closely. it with? Actually, a straight pin. Um, I've tried with push oh, pins and found that they're a little bit too big, the hole. Okay. Um, and then basically what you do is you hold it up right. behind you because you don't ever want to be looking. Right. Um, and it will kind of come through, and you'll see an image of the sun. So you want to have it either on a white piece of paper or a very light pavement. Okay. But you'll see the image of it. Okay, that's so interesting. And then what else do you have here? <laughs> Another option, if you don't have the time to make a pinhole viewer <coughs> is you can use a standard kitchen colander. Okay. Uh, but it's the same concept. You stand with the sun behind you. Right. Uh, and it should project onto, again, paper or pavement. Okay. Uh, but you'll see several eclipses at once. Right. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A really neat thing is basically anything that makes a hole like that. There are really cool images you can find online of people seeing it through kind of holes in trees, okay. holding your fingers like a lattice, or even making a hole with your fist. And we are running out of time, but um, very quickly, why did you bring these hula hoops? It is a really, really cool demonstration of uh, why we see eclipses when we do. Okay. That's great. So if somebody wants to come visit you all, how can they do that? Um, We're in the center in the square building in Market Square in Roanoke. Um, you can check out our website for hours and um, admission fees. It's www.smwv.org. 